Hi, everybody. I'm your guide, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. They call me Buzzy because I'm always buzzing around and asking questions. I found out lots of great stuff that way, and now I can pass it on to you. Today, I'll be showing you around the farm. The farm is where food is grown and some animals live. Pigs, chickens, horses, and cows, they're all here. There's a lot to do and see in a farm, so we better get started. Let's go! Gee whiz, this is one big farm. I bet they're as busy as a bee down there. Gee whiz, this is one big farm. Let's see what's going on down there. Field, F-I-E-L-D. A field is a large area of land that is good for growing crops. If the crop that is growing is wheat, then the field is called a wheat field. If the crop is corn, the field is called a corn field. Pasture, P-A-S-T-U-R-E. The pasture is a large grassy area where livestock, like horses or cows, can roam around freely. Since there is plenty of grass in the pasture, the animals can eat whenever they feel hungry. When animals roam around in the pasture and eat, it is called grazing. Orchard. O-R-C-H-A-R-D. The orchard is where farmers grow fruit trees. Apples, cherries, peaches, and oranges are some of the kinds of fruit trees that grow in orchards. Nut trees like almonds, walnuts, and pecans grow in orchards too. Go ahead and type in your name, and I, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug, will keep track of your score as we play. What is your name? Oops, if you make a mistake, no big deal. Just click on the eraser and put your letter in again. Hey, let's play a game. Just pick one and away we go. If you need any help, just ask me, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Do you want to play easy, medium, or hard? Are you ready for some trivia? Not only do knowledge bugs like to answer questions, we love to ask them too. That's how we get to learn so much great stuff. So now, I'm going to ask you some questions and you can tell me the answers. Good luck! Where did persimmons originally come from? The answer is China. Here's another one. Where would you find the entrance to a beaver's lodge? Super! Which birds can fly upside down and backwards? Excellent! What do you call the jagged edges on a saw blade? Tine. Prongs, teeth, gaffs, 100% right! A ladybug is a type of spider, bee, ant, beetle. Which group of animals do beavers belong to? Choose the best answer. Rodents. Reptiles. Mustelids. Arachnids. Yes! Which animal does not have teeth? A 
turtle, an otter, an opossum, a raccoon. If you get one wrong, don't worry. I'll ask it again later. Good answer! What do you call a male bee? A drone. A hornet. A yellow jacket. A king bee. Ready to play another game? All you gotta do is pick one. Hey, let's see how you're doing. You've answered seven questions right. Looks like you haven't spelled any words yet. You haven't found anything and find it yet. Looks like you haven't tried eggs away yet. How easy or how hard do you want the game to be? Let's play spell it. In this game, you try to spell words. At this level, you don't get to see the picture at all until you're done. Good luck. See if you can spell some of the things you've seen around the farm. Great job! I'm going to give you another one! C F R O G Frog J C O W Cow G D O G Dog Yes! You got it! Re Do you want to play easy, medium, or hard? T This game is called Spell It! Let's see if you can spell some of the things you've seen around the farm. Such a great job, I'm gonna give you another one.
want to play a game? I'm ready when you are. How hard do you want the game to be? is where the farmer's family lives. After a day of hard work on the farm, the farmer doesn't have to go too far to get home. Wallow, W-A-L-L-O-W. -L -L a wallow is where pigs live when they're outside the barn. It's also called a pig pen or a pig sty. Rolling in the mud is called wallowing. Bridge. B R I D G E. Bridges are used to cross rivers, lakes, creeks, ditches, and even roads. Some bridges have sidewalks so people who are walking can cross. Other bridges are just for motor vehicles like cars, trucks, buses, and motorcycles. River, R, I, B, E, R. Rivers are sometimes wide and sometimes narrow. The one thing all rivers have in common is that their waters flow, going from one place to another. Cargo ships travel along big rivers to carry goods from one part of the country to another. There's so much here, I wonder if we can find it all. There's so much here, I wonder if we can find it all. Rooms and cat tail. Pond skater. P O N D S K A T E R. The pond skater is a small water bug that can move across the top of water. Water bugs live on the surface of rivers, ponds, lakes, and streams. 
Some water bugs dive underwater for their food. All water bugs are insects. Rat hole. R A T H O L E. Rats like to find dark, covered places to live. Sometimes they use their sharp teeth to chew holes in walls. Other times, the lucky rat can find a crack under a bridge or a cellar to live in. A rat hole is the rat's house. Cattail. C A T T A I L. Cattails grow in water. They have long stalks with fuzzy brown flowers on top. The flowers can be used for decoration. Baking flour can be made from the pollen. Mats, baskets, and chair seats can be woven from the leaves. Rock. A rock alongside a river can be home to many creatures. Underneath the rock, you might find a centipede, worm, or beetle. Spider web. S P I D E R W E B. Webs are made from spiders known as web builders. Webs are made of silk that is spun by spiders and are used to help spiders catch their dinner. Mushroom. M U S H R O O M. Mushrooms are a type of plant called fungi. Mushrooms do not have leaves, roots, flowers, or seeds. Instead, they grow from spores that come from the mushroom cap. Mushrooms like to grow in warm, dark, moist places. Many wild mushrooms are very poisonous. Bridge post. B R I D G E. P O S T. The bridge post helps anchor the bridge into the ground. Some bridge posts are very decorative, like this one. Turtle. T U R T L E. Turtles are reptiles that can be aquatic, which means they can live in the water, or terrestrial, which means they can live on land. Turtles have a hard shell covering their body. Turtles do not have teeth. Some turtles can live to be about 200 years old. Otter. O T T E. R. Otters are furry little animals that spend hours swimming and playing in rivers. They have webbed feet that help them dive and swim, and thick fur that keeps them warm. Otters are part of the mustelid family, which makes them related to weasels and skunks. Dandelion. D A N D E. L I O N. Dandelions are common plants, usually considered weeds, with jagged green leaves and yellow flowers. The name dandelion means lion's tooth. Sometimes children like to blow on the long white dandelion hairs and watch the seeds fly away in the breeze. Bird. B 
B-I-R-D. Birds have feathery bodies, a beak, which is also called a bill, and two wings. But not all birds are good at flying. Penguins and ostriches cannot fly at all. Hummingbirds can fly upside down, backward, and even hover in place. Many birds chirp and sing songs at sunrise. Vine, V-I-N-E. A vine is a very long stem that sometimes wraps itself around posts, attaches itself to walls, or grows along the ground. Some vines grow fruit, like grapevines. Other vines grow pretty flowers. See that water trough? It's like a drinking fountain for horses. Horse. H-O-R-S-E. Horses are good helpers on the farm. They help plow the land, harvest crops, and pull heavy loads. Farmers also ride their horses when checking on cows or sheep in pastures. Horses love to eat carrots, sugar, hay, and grain. They like salt, too. Faucet, F-A-U-C-E-T. The faucet controls how water comes out of the water pipe. If the faucet is turned off, water cannot flow out of the pipe. If the faucet is turned on just a little, the water drips out. If the faucet is turned all the way on, the water pours out in a heavy stream. A faucet is sometimes called a spigot. Fence, F-E-N-C-E. -E. A fence helps both the animals and the plants. The fence protects the chickens from wolves and foxes and keeps the pigs and horses from wandering away and getting lost. It also stops the animals from walking all over the vegetables or going into the field and eating the hay and wheat. The picture shows a picket fence. This is because the posts are called pickets. Water pump, W-A-T-E-R-P-U-M-P. -E -E a water pump raises water from a place that is difficult to reach to a point that is easier to reach. Sometimes when water is found underground, a water pump is used to help bring the water to the surface. Tree, T-R-E-E. -E. Trees have woody trunks and lots of branches. Trees usually grow to be very tall and live for many years. Some trees have leaves that change color and fall off in autumn. Some trees, like pine trees, have needles instead of leaves. Farmhouse. Barn. Barn. B. A. R. N. A barn is like a house, only for animals. Horses, cows, and sheep live here. The lower part of the barn is where the animals live. The upper area, called the loft, is where things are stored. Bundles of hay, called bales, are often kept here.
water trough. W A T E R T R O U G H. A water trough holds drinking water for animals. Horses, cows, pigs, and chickens need to drink water every day. The sides of the trough are low, so it's easy for the animals to get a drink. Straw, S-T-R-A-W. Straw is made from dried stalks of grain like wheat or oats. It can be used in horse stalls to make a bed for the horses. Straw can also be woven and turned into hats or baskets. Glove, G-L-O-V-E. It's a good idea to wear gloves when working outside. Gloves help keep tools from slipping out of our hands. And they help keep our hands clean. They also help keep our hands from getting scratched or poked by sharp objects. Harvester. H-A-R-V-E-S-T-E-R. This machine cuts and separates the wheat grain from the stalks. The farmer or farm hand will drive the harvester around the field. Some older types are pulled by tractors, and some are pulled by horses. Look at this big farm machine. It's a harvester. Wow, look at this big farm machine. It's a harvester. Canopy, C-A-N-O-P-Y. A canopy is like a portable roof. A canopy can be used as an overhead cover to protect people from the hot sun or from the rain. When the weather is not too hot or too wet, the canopy can be removed. Ladder, L A. D, D, E, R. A ladder is useful for helping people reach things in high places. The steps on ladders are called rungs. Ladders are often made of wood, but they can also be made of metal or even rope. Blade, B, L, A, D, E. These blades are used to cut plants, like wheat or grass. By having many blades, the work goes much faster. The blades are very sharp and very dangerous. Tractors are really hard-working machines. Those ants sure like those sandwiches, don't they?
Lunchbox. L U N C H B O X. A lunchbox is used to hold everything someone would need for lunch. The lunchbox is big enough for a sandwich and an apple, some sliced carrots, a napkin, and a drink. Engine. E N G I N E. An engine is a machine used to power another machine. Engines power tractors, harvesters, cars, and buses, so they can be driven from one place to another. An engine can also power a winch to get water from deep wells or a chainsaw to cut wood. Engines always burn fuel, such as coal or gasoline or wood. Thermos, T H E R M O S. A thermos keeps hot drinks hot and cold drinks cold. It has a lid that screws on and off, and sometimes has a cup attached to the top. A thermos can easily be carried in a lunchbox. Back wheel, B A. C K W H E E L. The back wheels move the tractor forwards and backwards. The big wheels can grip the dirt better, so they can move the tractor even when it's muddy out. If the engine is connected to the back wheels, it's called a rear-wheel drive tractor. Many cars also have rear-wheel drive. Front wheel, F R O N T W H E E L. The front wheels on a tractor help steer the tractor. The round wheels can easily roll forward or backwards. The wheels can also turn left and right. When the steering wheel is turned, the wheels turn too, and the tractor moves in the direction the wheels point. A N T. Ants are insects that live in families called colonies. A colony of ants works together to provide food, take care of their eggs, and protect their home. Ant colonies are usually found underground, but some kinds of ants live in trees. There are over seven thousand different kinds of ants in the world. Beaver Lodge, B E A V E R L O D G E. Here's a look inside a beaver lodge. The lodge is home to a family of beavers. The beavers build their lodge in the water using tree branches and mud. The doors to the lodge are underwater, 
and the living area is above water, where it's nice and dry. Goose, G-O-O-S-E. The goose is a bird, a type called waterfowl. We say goose for a single bird and geese when there's more than one. Geese have big wings to help them fly and web feet to help them swim. A male goose is called a gander. Baby geese are called goslings. Water lily, W. A T E R L I L Y. Water lilies grow in ponds or other pools of water and are known for their big leaves and pretty flowers. The flowers can be pink, white, yellow, or even blue. The leaves are often 10 to 12 inches across, but some can be as big as 5 or 6 feet. That's as tall as a grown up. Frog, F R O G. Frogs are amphibians. Frogs are good at jumping because of their long hind legs. They are also good at catching bugs with their long, sticky tongue. Baby frogs are called tadpoles. Stump, S T U M P. A stump is the short bottom part of a tree that no longer has branches and a tree trunk attached. When trees are cut down or when they break off at the trunk, the part that is left is the stump. Pond, P-O-N-D. A pond is home to many animals. Waterfowl, like ducks and geese, live on the pond. Water bugs, frogs, and fish find their homes here, too. Mill, M-I-L-L. -L. The mill is where large amounts of grain, like corn or wheat, can be ground. When the mill grinds wheat, it crushes the grain into flour. When the mill grinds corn, it makes cornmeal. Water wheel, W A T E R W H E E L. Buckets. The water wheel spins around and lifts the water with big scoops or buckets. The energy from the water wheel can be used to power the mill. Water wheels are also used to irrigate or water fields. The buckets dump the water into a ditch and the water flows out to the field. Wow! This beaver lodge is terrific! This looks like an interesting place. Beaver, B E A V E R. Beavers. Beavers are part of the rodent family, which makes them related to squirrels and rats. Beavers have large, flat tails that are covered with scales and soft, furry bodies. They are the only animals that can chop down trees and build dams. Beavers are very good swimmers. Oh.
Lodge Entrance. L O D G E E N T R A N C E. The doorway to the beaver's lodge is underwater. The beaver must swim through the pond to its home, paddling with its web feet and steering with its tail. Once through the doorway, the beaver climbs inside. Fronds, F-R-O-N-D-S. Fronds are special big leafy parts of a plant. Fronds are very much like regular leaves. But because they are so leafy, fronds look like they don't have stems. They can grow in deserts, jungles, or even underwater. Dam, D A M. Beavers are the only wild animals that build dams. Beavers drag logs and branches into the water and use mud to hold the pieces of wood together. Beavers build dams to keep the water around their lodges just right. If the water gets too high, it could flood their homes. If the water was too low, their lodges would not have the water they needed. Stairs, S-T-A-I-R-S. Stairs are used to make going up and down much easier. Each flat surface on a stairs is called a step. Stairs are like a ladder, except a ladder goes straight up and down and stairs lean. So you might say stairs are like a leaning ladder. This looks like a busy place. Oh. The water flowing in the river turns the mill wheel, and that makes the grinder go around. Bag. B. A. G. A bag is used as a container to hold many different kinds of things. Some bags are made of paper, like the ones at the grocery stores. Bags can also be made of fine cloth or plastic to hold flour, cornmeal, and grain. Rough burlap bags often hold vegetables such as potatoes and turnips. Switch, S-W-I-T-C-H. A switch is used to turn things on and off. It controls electricity like a light switch or moves two objects together so they work together. Shovel, S-H-O-V-E-L. A shovel is a tool used for scooping up many different kinds of things. Shovels can be used to move snow, grain, dirt, or coal from one place to another. Using a shovel is much faster than moving things a handful at a time. Gear, G-E-A-R. A gear is a round object with notches at its edges. These notches are called teeth. The teeth of one gear can mesh or join with the teeth of another gear as they rotate in a machine. When the gears work smoothly together, they help power the machine. Grinder, G-R-I-N-D-E-R. A grinder squeezes or crushes objects. When a grinder is used on kernels of wheat or corn, it crushes the grain. Wheat can be crushed into flour, and corn can be turned into cornmeal with the use of a grinder. If something has gone through a grinder, 
It has been ground up. Scoop. S. C. O. O. P. A scoop is useful for dishing out lots of things like flour, sugar, or chicken feet. It is bigger than a spoon and has nice high sides. The high sides help keep things from spilling out. Grain. G. R. A. I. N. Grain is the seed of plants like oats, rye, wheat, rice, and corn. Sometimes grain is used to feed farm animals, and sometimes it is sold and used as food for people. They are also used in breakfast cereals like oatmeal and cornflakes. We get to look inside the mill. Oh, take a look at this place. Here's the farmer's house. Home sweet home. Farmhouse. F A R M H O U S E. The farmhouse is where the farmer's family lives. After a day of hard work on the farm, the farmer doesn't have to go too far to get home. <laughs> Mailbox. M A I L B O X. A mailbox is a special box for holding mail. The mail carrier brings the mail from the post office and delivers it to a home by putting the mail into the mailbox. When you send a letter, put it in the mailbox, and the mail carrier will take it to be delivered. <laughs> Honey, can you turn on the radio? Forecast, plenty of sunshine through it today with clear skies tonight with a low near 70. Now children, play nice. Can you turn on the radio? Flower. F L O W E R. Honey. Flowers make yards and gardens look pretty. Even bees and some birds are attracted to flowers that look and smell good. The bees make honey from the nectar inside the flowers. Some flowers are grown from seeds, and others are planted from bulbs. Shutter. S H U T T E R. Shutters make nice decorations around windows. They can also be useful. In the winter, the shutters can be closed to help keep out the cold wind. When it is really windy out, they can protect the window glass from breaking. Honey. Honey. H O N E. Why?
Honey is the sweet and sticky food we gather from beehives. It is made by bees. It is used to sweeten recipes. And it is also used as a spread on bread. Peanut butter and honey sandwiches are a favorite with kids. Honey is also used in tea to help soothe sore throats and coughs. B, B, E, E. There are many different kinds of bees, including bumblebees, carpenter bees, and honeybees. Honeybees make honey from pollen that they collect from plants. Honeybees live in colonies with one queen bee and many female worker bees. Sometimes male bees, called drones, also live in the colony. The bees on this farm live in a beehive the farmer made for them. Beehive. B E E H I V E. A beehive is the home for busy bees making honey. Bees can make their own beehive or live in one that is made for them by a beekeeper. They're all as busy as bees. <laughs> honeycomb. H O N E Y C O M B. In a beehive, the honeycomb is the part that holds the honey. The bees make the honeycomb out of wax. Each cell of the honeycomb is shaped like a hexagon, which is a six sided shape. The wax from the honeycomb can be used to make candles. You can see the fields, barn, and pastures from here. You can see the fields, barn, and pastures from here. Squirrel. S Q U I R R E L. Squirrels are rodents. That makes them cousins to chipmunks and beavers. Squirrels are well known for their bushy tails and their appetite for nuts. When squirrels get frightened or upset, they are likely to run up a tree and chatter at whomever disturbed them. Apple. A P P L E. Apples grow on trees. When many trees are planted together, it is called an orchard. Apple trees in orchards can bear fruit or grow apples for up to 50 years. Apples are delicious raw, and they are good cooked in pies. Apple sauce, apple cider, apple juice, and apple jelly are all made from apples. Here we are, out in the orchard. This is where all the fruit trees grow. Ladder. L-A-D-D-E-R. 
A ladder is useful for helping people reach things in high places. The steps on ladders are called rungs. Ladders are often made of wood, but they can also be made of metal or even rope. Farmhand. F A R M H A N D. Farmers often need people to help with the fields and orchards. They also may need help taking care of the cows, chickens, horses, and pigs. A farmhand is someone the farmer hires to help on the farm. Bird. B I R D. Birds have feathery bodies, a beak, which is also called a bill, and two wings. But not all birds are good at flying. Penguins and ostriches cannot fly at all. Hummingbirds can fly upside down, backward, and even hover in place. Many birds chirp and sing songs at sunrise. Wow, look at this farm. I bet they're as busy as a bee down there. Let's go and see. Backyard. B A C K Y A R D. The backyard is often the part of the yard where people go to play and relax. Sometimes a backyard has a fence around it, and sometimes it does not. Backyards can be very big or very small. Some homes do not have backyards. Is one pooped out pooch. Dog. D O G. This is a hound dog, the family's pet. Hound dogs are good hunters. 
Other kinds of dogs help with different jobs on farms and ranches. Some dogs are herders, helping farmers move sheep or cows from one pasture to another. Other dogs protect sheep from wolves and other animals. B U C K E T. A bucket or pail is a handy tool to have around the farm. It can be filled with water from the well, eggs from the chicken coop, milk from the barn, or vegetables from the garden. Buckets are also useful for carrying rocks, dirt, and sand. Well, W E L L. The water that we drink often comes from underground. On a farm, the farmer drills a big hole into the earth to reach the underground water, making a well. This well has a bucket attached to the rope inside to bring the water up. Chicken. C H I C K E N. Chickens are sometimes called fowl or poultry. Even though they are birds, they do not fly very well. When we talk about chickens, we usually mean female chickens, which are really called hens. Male chickens are called roosters. Hens lay eggs in nests, like other birds, although farm chickens lay them indoors in the coop. Weather vane. W E A T H E R V A N E. The weather vane lets the farmer know which way the wind is blowing. Wind is air that is moving. Wind can help keep us cool on hot summer days. Wind can also blow too hard, like during thunderstorms or tornadoes, and can knock down fences or knock over trees. Winch, W I N C H. To raise or lower the bucket in the well, the farmer has to turn the crank. The crank is attached to a winch. The winch goes round and round, and the rope wraps up around it to raise the pail. If the winch is turned the other way, the rope unwinds, and the pail is lowered to the water. Check out the clock. Is it time for dinner yet? Let's check out the kitchen. The time is five after seven. The time is eleven thirty. The time is three fifty. The time is eight fifty four. The time is. Ten fifty. 
The time is is a dairy food that is made from milk. There are many different kinds of cheeses that come from all over the world. The milk used to make cheese doesn't have to come from cows. Goats, sheep, and even buffalo give milk that is turned into cheese. Green beans. G -R -E -E -N -B -E -A -N -S. Green beans grow on bushy plants or on long vines. This vegetable can be eaten raw or cooked. Green beans are used in salads and in stir-fry recipes. Eggplant. E -G -G -P -L -A -N -T. Eggplant is not an egg, but it is a plant. It is a dark purple vegetable that is sometimes shaped like an egg and has a shiny skin. Eggplant is sometimes used in recipes as a substitute for meat, like in eggplant parmesan. Carrot. C A R R O T. Carrots are orange colored vegetables with feathery green tops. Like potatoes, Carrots are known as a root crop. It's called that because the part of the carrot plant that we eat is the orange root, the part that grows underground. Tomatoes. T-O-M-A-T-O-E-S. Tomatoes are very popular garden plants. They can be bright orange, red, green, and yellow. Some tomatoes are even shaped like little pears. Tomatoes are delicious in salads, and you couldn't have ketchup or spaghetti sauce without them. M, M I L K Milk M Dairy cows make the milk that we get in cartons and bottles from the grocery store. The milk is used for drinking, on top of dry cereal, and in lots of recipes. One favorite way to drink milk is with chocolate syrup. Rolling pin. R-O-L-L-I-N-G-P-I-N. Rolling pin. Rolling pins are used to flatten dough for cookies or pie crusts. Rolling pins have two handles, which are held while rolling the pin over the dough. Pot. P-O-T. A big pot on the kitchen stove can be used for many things. It's good for cooking big batches of soup, for making stew, for boiling vegetables, or for cooking fruit that will be turned into jelly. Ladle, L-A-D-L-E. -E. A ladle is a long-handled spoon with a big scoop on the end. It is very useful for dishing out foods that have a lot of liquid in them, like soup, chili, and stew. Garlic, G-A-R-L-I-C. Garlic is a bulb that grows underground. Garlic bulbs can be divided into smaller sections called cloves, which makes it easy to add just the right amount in a recipe. A popular recipe that uses garlic is garlic bread. Mm -hmm. 
Salt. S A L T. Enhance. Salt is used to enhance or bring out the flavor of food. Salt and pepper are often used together to help make some foods taste better. Both people and animals need salt. We get ours from the salt shaker, and animals get salt from a salt lick. Pepper. P E P P E R. The pepper we keep in a shaker is a spice that comes from a berry. The dried berry is put in a grinder to make small bits that can come out of the shaker's holes. Pepper is used to flavor food. Most people think of pepper as black, but pepper can also be white, pink, or green. Flour. F L O U R. Flour is made from wheat kernels that have been put into a grinder and turned into a powder. Flour is a main ingredient in bread, pizza dough, and pie crust. Cornmeal. C O R N M E A L. When corn is poured into a grinder, it is turned into cornmeal. Cornmeal is the main ingredient in cornbread. It is also used in pancakes, polenta, hush puppies, and tortillas. Pie. P I E. A good crust and a yummy filling are all you need to make a pie. Pies can be filled with all kinds of different things. Common fruit pies are peach. Blueberry, apple, and lemon. Some pies are made from vegetables like sweet potato and pumpkin. Pot pies are made with meat and vegetables. <laughs> Clock. C L O C K. Clocks help us keep track of time. By looking at a clock, we can tell when it's time for breakfast, time for school, time to come home from work, and time for bed. A little clock that you wear on your wrist is called a watch. That freezer is used to keep food frozen so it won't spoil. The cellar is cool because it's underground. The farmer stores certain kinds of foods here to keep them fresh until it's time to cook them. That must be the house above us. The cellar is cool because it's underground. The farmer stores certain kinds of foods here to keep them fresh until it's time to cook them. Potato. P-O-T-A-T-O. 
The part of the potato plant that we eat is the part that grows underground. Potatoes, like carrots, are roots and have to be dug up to be harvested. They can be baked, fried, boiled, grilled, and steamed. They can even be eaten raw. Potatoes last a long time when kept in a cool, dark place like a cellar. Bag. B. A. G. A bag is used as a container to hold many different kinds of things. Some bags are made of paper, like the ones at the grocery stores. Bags can also be made of fine cloth or plastic to hold flour, cornmeal, and grain. Rough burlap bags often hold vegetables, such as potatoes and turnips. Furnace. F. U. R. N. A. C. E. Furnaces are used in our homes to keep the air warm in cold weather. This furnace burns coal to create heat. The hot steam is run up to the farmhouse through pipes, warming the house. Other furnaces use wood, gas, or electricity to heat the air for our homes. Coal chute. C O A L C H U T E. The coal chute is open to the outside of the house and runs inside to the cellar. The farmer can put a load of coal into the chute outside, and it will slide into the bin inside. By using the coal chute, the farmer doesn't have to carry heavy loads of coal down into the cellar. Coal. C-O-A-L. Coal is something we can burn for fuel. Most of the coal used today was formed from fossilized plants that lived about 780 million years ago. Coal is dug up from the ground and used in homes and businesses. Coal can be burned in furnaces to heat homes or used in power stations to help create electricity. Pumpkin. P-U-M-P-K-I-N. Pumpkins are a member of the squash family. They are great for making funny jack-o'-lanterns, and they're good to eat, too. Pumpkins are used to make pies, bread, cookies, and soup. Pumpkins are harvested from gardens in autumn. Squash. S-Q-U-A-S-H. Squash is a plant that grows on long vines. Winter squash is hard and is usually baked. Winter squash is often stored in cellars. Pumpkins are a member of the squash family, too. Persimmon. P-E-R-S-I-M-M-O-N. Persimmons are little orange-colored fruits that are originally from China. Persimmons are usually eaten when they are very soft. But one kind, called the fuyu, is eaten when it's hard. Persimmons can be eaten raw, boiled, frozen, or baked. Most persimmons are harvested in autumn. Cabbage. C-A-B-B-A-G-E. Cabbage is a garden vegetable that is related to broccoli, cauliflower, and turnips. It can be green or red in color. Cabbage grows in the shape of a ball. The leaves can be eaten raw or cooked. Cabbage is the main ingredient in coleslaw. Freezer. F-R-E-E-Z-E-R. -E 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 Freezers help us store fruit, vegetables, and meats for long periods of time. The air inside the freezer has to be cold enough to freeze water. That means the temperature has to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius. Wash tub. W-A-S-H-T-U-B. A wash tub is used for soaking and washing dirty clothes. Wash tubs are usually found in a cellar or in a laundry room.
Shovel. S H O V E L. A shovel is a tool used for scooping up many different kinds of things. Shovels can be used to move snow, grain, dirt, or coal from one place to another. Using a shovel is much faster than moving things a handful at a time. Preserves. P R E S E R V E S. Preserves are made from fruit and sometimes from vegetables. The fruit or vegetables are cooked and put into clean jars. Then the jars are tightly sealed and stored in a cool place like a cellar or a pantry. The food will last a long time this way and can be enjoyed well after the food has been harvested. Pickle. P I C K L E. Pickles are made from cucumbers. Some pickles are stored in vinegar, and some are stored in brine, which is made from water and salt. Sometimes flavorings like garlic and dill are added to pickles. Pickles can taste sweet or sour, and are sometimes used to make relish. Onion. O n i o n. Onions grow from bulbs or seeds in the garden. Some onions have a very strong flavor, and others are very mild. Onions are very well known for making people cry. Really, what happens is the strong smell or odor of onions will make your eyes water. Onions will last a long time when stored in a dark, dry place like a cellar. <sighs> Check out that chicken coop. It has a chicken-sized door on the side. Here's where the chickens spend their day, out in the coop yard. Water. W A T E R. Water is important to all animals. Like people, farm animals need plenty of water to drink. Other animals, like fish, need water as a place to live. Rivers, lakes, ponds, and oceans all are full of water. When water gets too cold, it freezes into ice. Water freezes when the temperature gets to be 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. Chicken coop. C H I C K E N C O O P. The chicken coop is the house where the chickens live. The chickens in this coop lay eggs. The coop is surrounded by a low fence to keep the chickens from wandering away. B U C K E T. Bucket. A bucket or pail is a handy tool to have around the farm. It can be filled with water from the well, eggs from the chicken coop, milk from the barn, or vegetables from the garden. Buckets are also useful for carrying rocks, dirt, and sand. Rooster. R O 
O S T E R. Colorful. Roosters are male chickens. Some roosters, like the one shown here, have very colorful feathers. Roosters are well known for the comb on top of their heads and the waddle that hangs under their chins. Children like to imitate the sound that roosters make by crowing cock a doodle doo. It can take a chick more than two days just to pack out of its shell. It can take a chick more than two days just to pack out of its shell. Hat. H. A. T. Hats help keep us cool by keeping the hot sun off of our faces and heads. This hat has a nice wide edge around it, known as a brim. Wide brims keep the sun out of our eyes and off of our necks. Egg. Egg. E. G. G. The eggs we eat come from chickens that are raised especially for laying eggs. Eggs can be eaten fried, baked, boiled, or poached. Eggs can also be used in cooking things like cake and cookies. Chicken feed. C H I C K E N F E E D. Chicken feed is made from things like wheat, rice, half flour, soybeans, alfalfa, and salt. It is made to be very healthy food for chickens. A chicken will eat about a half a pound of chicken feed each day. Nest. N E S T. Birds lay their eggs and raise their babies in nests. A nest can be made from straw, grass, twigs, or even mud, depending on the kind of bird that builds it. Knot hole. K N O T H O L E. This is a knot hole. A wood knot is where a branch connected to the tree. When trees are made into lumber or building things like fences or chicken coops, the boards sometimes have knots. When the knot falls out of the board, it leaves a knot hole. Scoop. S C O O P bigger A scoop is useful for dishing out lots of things like flour, sugar, or chicken feed. It is bigger than a spoon and has nice high sides. The high sides help keep things from spilling out. The tunnels in prairie dog towns have separate rooms for sleeping, storing food, even going to the bathroom. Well water. 
W E L L W A T E R. The water that is taken out of a well is called well water. A well must be very deep to get to the water below. Because it is so deep, the farmer must lower and pull up the bucket on a rope. The tunnels in prairie dog towns have separate rooms for sleeping, storing food, even going to the bathroom. Den. D E N. This is a prairie dog's home. Prairie dogs make their homes underground, with tunnels going between homes instead of streets. Since the temperature underground can be quite cold, the prairie dog uses grass to line its home. The grass helps keep the prairie dog warm and comfortable. Well, W E L L. The water that we drink often comes from underground. On a farm, the farmer drills a big hole into the earth to reach the underground water, making a well. This well has a bucket attached to the rope inside to bring the water up. Prairie dog. P R A I R I E D O G. Prairie dogs are members of the rodent family. That makes them related to squirrels and rats. Prairie dogs live in the flat prairies of North America, and they make a barking sound like a small dog. Prairie dogs are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. Tunnel. T U N N E L. Prairie dogs like to live underground. They also like to live near other prairie dogs. A group of prairie dog homes is called a town. The tunnels act like roads, connecting the homes together and leading up to the surface. The tunnels are also a place to store extra food and to hide and protect themselves from their enemies. Prairie dog hole. P R A I R I E D O G H O L E. The hole around a prairie dog's burrow is surrounded by mounds of dirt. The dirt comes from underground tunnels that are dug out by the prairie dog. A prairie dog will often stand on top of the mounds to keep a lookout for its enemies. Whoa! Check out this garden! Wow! Look at all that food in the garden! Say, isn't it just about snack time?
Scarecrow, S C A R E C R O W. Scarecrows help keep crows out of the garden. Scarecrows are made out of old clothes that have been stuffed with straw, so they look a lot like people. Carrot, C-A-R-R-O-T, carrots. Carrots are orange-colored vegetables with feathery green tops. Like potatoes, carrots are known as a root crop. It's called that because the part of the carrot plant that we eat is the orange root, the part that grows underground. Water can, W A. T E R C A N. The watering can is used for sprinkling thirsty plants. It has a long spout with a nozzle on the end that is full of holes. This helps the water sprinkle out softly onto the plants and soil. Wheelbarrow. W H E E L B A R R. O W Wheelbarrows are useful in the garden for moving around heavy loads. Dirt, rocks, and animal food are often moved from one place to another in a wheelbarrow. Tool shed T O O L S H E D Lots of garden tools can be found in the tool shed. Rakes, shovels, hoes, buckets, pruning shears, and gardening gloves might be stored in the tool shed. The tool shed helps keep all of the tools organized, so they are easy to find. Crow, C-R-O-W. Crows are big blackbirds that are pests in the garden. Crows make a loud noise that sounds like they're saying, caw, caw. Farmers don't like them because the crows eat the seeds and crops in the garden and field. Scarecrows are put in the garden to scare crows away. Rabbit. R. A. B. B. I. T. Rabbits are known for their long ears and short fluffy tails. They are good at hopping. When they want to get away from their enemies, they hop in a quick zigzag motion. Rabbits are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. Another name for a rabbit is hare. Spinach. S P I N A C H. Spinach is a plant that is grown for its big green leaves. Spinach leaves can be eaten raw or cooked. Gate. G A T E. The gate is the part of the fence that lets people come and go when they want to. Without the gate, people couldn't get into the garden or pasture very easily. They would have to use a stile or climb the fence. Style. S-T-I-L-E. A stile is a set of steps that people can use to get over a fence. 
The fence keeps animals from getting out of the pasture, and the stile lets people get in. Seeds. S E E D S. Seeds are very important to a farm. Vegetables, fruits, grass, grain, and some flowers all are grown from seeds. In fact, you can find seeds inside some fruit. Trees come from seeds too. When the farmer wants to grow a crop, seeds are put in the ground. With a lot of water, sunshine, and care, the seeds grow up into healthy plants. Grapevine, G R A P E V I N E. Grapes grow in bunches on long, winding grapevines. The leaves from grapevines are sometimes eaten too. The stalks of the grapevine can be dried and used to make wreaths. Grapes grow on vines called grapevines. Grapes are good to eat for a snack or in fruit salad. Grapes are also good for making jelly and preserves. Preserves. P R E S E R V E S. Preserves are made from fruit and sometimes from vegetables. The fruit or vegetables are cooked and put into clean jars. Then the jars are tightly sealed and stored in a cool place, like a cellar or a pantry. The food will last a long time this way. And can be enjoyed well after the food has been harvested. <coughs> Strawberry. S T R A W B E R R Y. Strawberries are the juicy red fruit that grow on strawberry plants in the summer. Strawberries are often eaten as a topping on cereal, ice cream, and cheesecake. Strawberry shortcake is a favorite summer dessert. Do you see the saw? <laughs> If you click on it, you can see the saw saw. Then you can say, "I saw the saw saw." The farmer must use that post hole digger on the pasture fence, don't you think? The farmer stores lots of tools in the tool shed. Crowbar. C R O W B A R. Crowbars are made of strong, heavy steel. They are used to pry apart or separate two items, like two boards that are nailed together. A crowbar can also be used to pull out big nails. Nail. N A I L. Nails are used for building, and are most often hammered into two pieces of wood to hold them together. Nails are thin, with one pointed end and one flat end. The flat end is called the head. Although nails are made of metal, if the hammer hits them wrong, they can bend. Broom. B 
R O O M. A broom is used for sweeping crumbs, dirt, and grass clippings up off floors, sidewalks, and patios. Brooms usually have long handles made of wood, metal, or plastic. Some brooms, like little whisk brooms, have very short handles instead. Gra grass. G R A S S. A pretty green lawn around a house or building is made up of long, thin stalks of grass. But grass can be used for more than decoration. Grass that grows in a pasture provides food for grazing farm animals. When grass is allowed to grow long and then cut and dried, it is called hay. Hay, H A Y. Hay is made of either dried grass or alfalfa. Farm animals, like horses and cows, like to eat hay. Hay is grown out in the field, then either rolled into large rolls or into bales. It is then stored in the barn's loft until the animals are hungry. Bales. Hay bale. H A Y B A L E. Out in the fields, a baling machine gathers the loose hay up from the ground and bundles it into a bale. The bales of hay can be stacked on top of each other and stored in the barn's loft. Hay is used as food for cows and horses. Barn. B A R N. Lawnmower. L A W N M O W E R. Lawnmowers give lawns a haircut when the grass gets too tall. Some lawnmowers run off of electricity, and some are powered by gasoline. Others, like this push mower, are people powered. The blade spins around when the mower is pushed. Lawnmower blades are very sharp. Scythe. S C Y T H E. A scythe is a tool that is used for cutting long stalks of wheat or tall grass. A short wooden peg is often attached to the handle to help swing the scythe. Shovel. S H O V E L. A shovel is a tool used for scooping up many different kinds of things. Shovels can be used to move snow, grain, dirt, or coal from one place to another. Using a shovel is much faster than moving things a handful at a time. Post hole digger. P O S T H O L E D I G G E R. A post hole digger is a big tool. It has two very long wooden handles, which attach to a pair of scoops. The scoops are shoved straight down into the dirt, then closed together, trapping dirt between them, and pulled out. This leaves a hole just the right size for a fence post. H A C K S A W Hacksaw Hacksaws are usually used to cut metal, like pipes. A hacksaw's blade is very thin and is attached to the hacksaw at both ends. The jagged edges on the blade are called teeth. Screwdriver. S C R E W D R I V E R. Skinny. One end of a screwdriver is called the handle, and the other end is called the shank. The shank is the metal part that has a skinny, flat tip. The flat end of the shank fits into the groove on top of a screw. Screws are used to fasten or hold two things together. Glue. G L U E. Glue is a sticky substance that is used to hold things together. 
There are many different kinds of glues that are made especially for holding together certain kinds of materials like wood or pottery. Another name for glue is adhesive. Wire cutters. W I R E C U T T E R S. Sometimes wire is made out of metal and is very strong. Wire cutters are a special kind of plier with a sharp edge that is tough enough to cut through wire. Pliers. P L I E R S. A pair of pliers has two handles that open and close the plier jaws. The jaws are held together by squeezing the handles. Pliers are good for getting a tight grip on things. Flashlight. F L A S H L I G H T. Flashlights are little lights that use batteries for power. Flashlights are portable. That means they can be carried around just about anywhere. Tape measure. T A P E M E A S U R E. Bend. A tape measure has a long tape inside, which is often made of a thin strip of metal that can bend. The tape has measurements printed on it from one eighth of an inch up to several feet. A tape measure can be used to find the distance between two points. Wrench, W R E N C H. A wrench is a hand tool that has one handle and usually has a set of jaws. The wrench jaws can be tightened around nuts or bolts of different sizes, then used to loosen them up. Some wrenches do not have adjustable jaws. Drill. D R I L L. A drill is a tool used to make holes in wood, cement, or even steel. The sharp part of the drill is called a bit, and it turns or rotates into the wood. The part that holds the bit tightly into the drill is called the chuck. Drill bits come in many sizes for making large and small holes. Hammer. H A M M E R. A hammer is a tool with a nice long handle for gripping and a head for pounding. The flat end of the head, which is sometimes called a nose, can be used to pound nails into boards. Some hammers have a curved end of the head with a special notch for pulling nails out of boards. Here's the barn. That's where some of the farm animals live. Oh boy, the barn is one of my favorite places. There's lots of work to do in a farm. This must be a great place to spend the night. Look at all the great animals. Sheep and horses, cows and owls. Look at all the great animals. 
sheep and horses, uh. cows and owls. Bucket. B U C K E T. A bucket or pail is a handy tool to have around the farm. It can be filled with water from the well, eggs from the chicken coop, milk from the barn, or vegetables from the garden. Buckets are also useful for carrying rocks, dirt, and sand. Far Farmer. F A R M E R. Farmers are the people who run the farm. Farmers work the garden, plow the fields, and grow the fruit. They also take care of the cows, chickens, pigs, horses, and sheep on a farm. They often live right on the farm in the farmhouse. Hat. H A T. Hats help keep us cool by keeping the hot sun off of our faces and heads. This hat has a nice wide edge around it, known as a brim. Wide brims keep the sun out of our eyes and off of our necks. Manger, M-A-N-G-E-R. The manger is a box that holds hay for the livestock. That's what farmers call their cows and horses. When the livestock are hungry, they can eat out of the manger. Calf, C A L F. A baby cow is called a calf. A calf can stand up right away after it is born. The calf will drink milk from its mother, from a bottle, or from a milk pail. After about one week, the calf will start eating hay. C O W Cow This kind of dairy cow is called a Holstein. She is easy to recognize by the black and white markings on her hide. She provides 6 to 12 gallons of milk a day for the farmer's family. To make that much milk, she has to eat about 50 pounds of food every day. A baby cow is called a calf. Silo, S-I-L-O. A silo is the perfect place to store extra food for the farm animals. The food stored in the silo is called fodder or forage. Corn fodder includes the stalk, leaves, and kernels of the corn. Rope. R O P E. Rope is often made from plants. Flax and hemp plants are the two most common plants used to make rope. Rope is strong and can be used to tie things together, to hold things in place, or to help lift heavy objects on a pulley. Go. Pulley. P U L L E Y. The pulley is a useful tool for lifting heavy objects. It would be hard for the farmer to carry a big bale of hay up a ladder and into the loft. But with the pulley, the farmer can hook the rope to the bundle of hay, pull on the other end of the rope, and lift the hay up. Owl. O. W. L. Owls are nocturnal birds. That means they do most of their work at night, and most of their resting during the day. Owls have very good eyesight for long distances, but they cannot see very well up close. Most owls don't build nests. Instead, they live inside of trees, burrows, or barns. Sheep. S-H-E-E-P. Farmers raise sheep for their thick wool fur, called a fleece. Like horses and cows, sheep like to eat grass. Sheep need pastures, so they can eat and walk around. This is called grazing. At night and early morning, or when it rains, they stay inside the barn. 
I wonder if brown cows give chocolate milk. Moo? Milk. M. I. L. K. Dairy cows make the milk that we get in cartons and bottles from the grocery store. The milk is used for drinking, on top of dry cereal, and in lots of recipes. One favorite way to drink milk is with chocolate syrup. Milk pail. M. I. L. K. P. A. I. L. The milk pail is a low bucket. As the farmer milks the cow, the milk pail catches the cow's warm milk. The milk can then be poured into the milk can or taken into the farmhouse to drink. Cowbell. C O W B E L L. Cowbells are used to help farmers keep track of animals, like cows or sheep. If a cow wanders out of the barn or pasture, the farmer can easily find her. The cowbell makes a loud dinging noise, so it's easy for the farmer to hear lost animals even if they're far away. Milk can. M I L K C A N. A milk can is used to store and carry large amounts of milk. When the farmer is done milking the cow, he pours the milk from the milk pail into the milk can. Sheep make such a wonderful noise. Ba ba. Wow! Look at those beautiful woolly sheep! Carding brush. C A R D I N G B R U S H. Sheep have a very thick fleece. As they walk around the pasture, Weeds and dirt get into the fleece. Brushing through the thick fleece will remove the weeds and dirt. Fleece. F L E E C E. A sheep's wool coat is called a fleece. When the sheep gets a haircut, its fleece is used to make wool clothes, rugs, and blankets. U E W E. A U is a female sheep. This U recently had its fleece removed with clippers. Fleece is usually removed in the spring, which keeps the U nice and cool. This U now looks a little bit like a lamb, which is a baby sheep. Lamb. L A M B. Baby sheep are called lambs. This one has a very short coat of wool or fleece. Lambs love to run around and eat a lot of grains and grass. Female lambs grow up to be ewes. Male lambs grow up to be rams. Electric clippers. 
E L E C T R I C C L I P P E R S. Clippers are used for cutting or shaving. Sometimes clippers are used to shave the fur off of animals. When clippers are used on sheep, it is called shearing the sheep. A sheep's fur is called a fleece. Shepherd's crook. S H E P H E R D S C R O O K. This is the shepherd's crook. A shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep. The curved end of the crook is used by the shepherd to help move the sheep from one place to another. Not whole. K N O T H O L E. This is a knot hole. A wood knot is where a branch connected to the tree. When trees are made into lumber or building things like fences or chicken coops, the boards sometimes have knots. When the knot falls out of the board, it leaves a knot hole. Grain. G R A I N. Grain is the seed of plants like oats, rye, wheat, rice, and corn. Sometimes grain is used to feed farm animals, and sometimes it is sold and used as food for people. They are also used in breakfast cereals like oatmeal and cornflakes. This must be a great place to spend the night. This sure is a neat place, isn't it? I never knew a barn was a two-story home. Straw. S T R A W. Straw is made from dried stalks of grain like wheat or oats. It can be used in horse stalls to make a bed for the horses. Straw can also be woven and turned into hats or baskets. Gaff, G A F F, objects. This hook, called a gaff, helps the farmer move heavy objects. Holding a gaff in each hand, the farmer can pick up large hay bales by pushing a gaff into each end of the bale. Or a bale can be dragged across the loft by pulling on it with one gaff. Carrots! I wonder where the farmer got those. What a pretty horse this is!
Salt Lick. S A L T L I C K. Animals love to eat salt, and it's an important part of their diet. Since they can't use salt shakers, the salt is kept in blocks. A quick lick of the tongue makes a salty snack for a horse. Horse, H O R S E. Horses are good helpers on the farm. They help plow the land, harvest crops, and pull heavy loads. Farmers also ride their horses when checking on cows or sheep in pastures. Horses love to eat carrots, sugar, hay, and grain. They like salt too. Grooming brush. G R O O M I N G B R U S H. This brush is made especially for grooming horses. Horses are brushed every day to keep their coats healthy and clean. Bridle. B R I D L E. A bridle is worn over a horse's head when he is being ridden. The rider holds on to the reins on the bridle and directs or steers the horse in the right direction. Carrot. C A R R O T. Carrots are orange-colored vegetables with feathery green tops. Like potatoes, carrots are known as a root crop. It's called that because the part of the carrot plant that we eat is the orange root, the part that grows underground. Feed bag. F E E D B A G. A feed bag holds food for horses. Another name for feed bag is nose bag. Since a horse doesn't have hands to eat with, the horse can wear the feed bag. The straps attach to the horse's head, and the feed bag covers the horse's nose. Yippee! It's the pig wallow. Let's go visit the pig family. Did you know that pigs are some of the cleanest animals there are? They roll around in the mud to protect their skin because they sunburn easily. Yippee! It's the pig wallow. Let's go visit the pig family. Shovel. S H O V E L. A shovel is a tool used for scooping up many different kinds of things. Shovels can be used to move snow, grain, dirt, or coal from one place to another. Using a shovel is much faster than moving things a handful at a time. Pig. P I G. Pigs are well known for their curly tails. They like to lie in cool mud when it is hot out, which is called wallowing. Pigs are also called swine and hogs. A female pig is called a sow, and her babies are called piglets. Feed trough. F E E D T R O U G H. This trough is a large box or bin that holds food for the pigs. The trough has low sides, so the pigs can easily reach their food. Barrel. B A R 
R E L. Barrels are usually made of wooden boards with metal hoops around them that help hold the boards together. Barrels are used for storage. Barrels can hold food products like grain or vegetables, or they can hold liquid. Barrels are pretty heavy duty containers, so they can be reused many times. Sow. S O W. A female pig is called a sow. This sow is feeding her milk to her piglets. This is called nursing. The sow has to eat a lot of food to make enough milk for her babies. When she's not tending to her babies, the sow likes to root or dig in the dirt with her nose. Another name for a pig's nose is a snout. Lean to. L E A N T O. A lean to has just one side of a roof. The highest part of the roof leans against the wall of a building. The lowest part is held up by putting posts at the corners. Lean tos are used to provide cover from rain, snow, sun, and wind. Here's the silo. That's grain inside. What a great cutaway view of the silo. Silos are used all over the world to store grain. Pitchfork. P I T C H F O R K. A pitchfork looks like a giant dinner fork. This pitchfork has four prongs or tines and a long wooden handle. The farmer holds on to the wooden handle when using the pitchfork. Pitchforks are used to lift and throw straw or hay from one area to another. Fork. F O R K. A fork is used for eating and cooking food. Forks have two or more thin prongs attached to a handle. Prongs are also called tines. The prongs are usually pointed and are helpful for stabbing or lifting chunks of food like a piece of potato or meat. Silo. S I L O. A silo is the perfect place to store extra food for the farm animals. The food stored in the silo is called fodder or forage. Corn fodder includes the stalk, leaves, and kernels of the corn. Grain. G R A I N. Grain is the seed of plants like oats, rye, wheat, rice, and corn. Sometimes grain is used to feed farm animals, and sometimes it is sold and used as food for people. They are also used in breakfast cereals like oatmeal and corn flakes. Silo elevator. S I L O E L E V A T O R. A silo elevator helps the farmer move large amounts of grain into the silo. The elevator lifts the grain up to the top of the silo, then drops it down into the silo for storage. Wallow. W A L L O W. A wallow is where pigs live when they're outside the barn. It's also called a pig pen or a pig sty. Rolling in the mud is called wallowing. There's lots of work to do in a farm. The barn, the silo, the pigs. Whew! There's plenty to check out here. Look. It's the barn.
Dutch door. D U T C H D O O R. On a Dutch door, the bottom half can be closed while the top half is open. This makes it easy for the farmer to check on the pigs from inside the barn. The farmer can look out, but the pigs can't come in. It's also good for cooling off a hot barn without letting any animals out. Shutter. S H U T T E R. Shutters make nice decorations around windows. They can also be useful. In the winter, the shutters can be closed to help keep out the cold wind. When it is really windy out, they can protect the window glass from breaking. Roof. R O O F. The roof on top of a house does many things. It helps keep dust, dirt, snow, and rain from coming in the house. It also helps the house stay cool in the summer by keeping the hot sun from shining in, and warm in the winter by keeping the cold air out. Mailbox. M A I L B O X. A mailbox is a special box for holding mail. The mail carrier brings the mail from the post office and delivers it to a home by putting the mail into the mailbox. When you send a letter, put it in the mailbox, and the mail carrier will take it to be delivered. Honey, can you turn on the radio? I wonder what fun things we can find in this field. Beetle. B E E T L E. Turn over a rock, and chances are you'll find a beetle or two. Beetles are a type of insect. Terrestrial beetles can live underground, above ground, or inside of trees. Aquatic beetles live in watery places like ponds, lakes, and rivers. Beetles have hard shells covering their bodies, including their front two wings or four wings. Ladybugs and lightning bugs are two kinds of beetles. Go ahead and tie. This game is called Eggs Away. Try to catch as many of the eggs as you can before they hit the ground. Okay. <laughs> 
filled the cartons on the left? Do you want to...